Hare Krishna. Welcome to another installment of Prema Culture, the Vedic Way. Today we're going to be talking about sugar, or sweeteners in that case. And here at the Prema Culture, the Vedic Way, we're trying to look for ways to becoming more self-reliant for all our basic needs. And one of those needs is a sweetener, a sugar. So here you can see behind me, there's fully mature sugar cane stalks. And uh, I will show you the process on how to cultivate, juice, and reduce the sugarcane juice into a sugarcane syrup for all your sweetening needs. So the first step is to cut down a few canes with your machete and making sure you're choosing uh, some canes that are fully mature. Uh, in this case, this certain variety is a purplish variety and it grows up something like 10 or 12 feet tall. And once you find that, that height, then you get close to the bottom of the base and you cut them down. And so now the next step, once you've uh, cut down a nice uh, sugar cane, we need to wash it and clean it up so that we can process it and extract the sugar cane juice. And so there are many different methods of extracting the sugar cane juice out of the sugar cane. Uh, one way is to go and buy a multi hundred dollar machine with a big metal roller and a big handle or electric mortar to extract the juice for you, or using a little bit of ingenuity and imagination and natural bamboo, you can construct your own sugarcane juice extractor. So we're going to show you here a method of uh, assembling something for minimal cost. And so with this particular method that we chose to extract the sugarcane juice, we utilized a pivot point with two copper tubings and two pieces of nice bamboo. And what makes this particular machine special is that it actually utilizes two live bamboo combs that we are using as an anchor for the pivot point on our uh, sugar cane juice extractor. So for this particular machine, we use two pieces of bamboo that we move up and down and we crush the sugar cane to get the juice out of using mechanical pressure just like pliers. Very simple, very easy. And then on the bottom, we collect the sugarcane juice for further processing. So now once you're finished crushing the sugar cane, you can actually use the remnants or the sugar cane fiber to feed to the cows and use in your compost, various different uh, uses, even after extracting the juice. Now that we have extracted the sugar cane juice out of the sugar cane and we passed it through a colander, we can put it into a heavy bottom saucepan and start reducing it bit by bit. The more we reduce it, the more concentrated it will become. And then we can have something sweet for all our preparations. And as you continue reducing it further and further, closer to that syrupy stage, you can use a candy thermometer if you would like to 
create a softball or a firm ball for easier storage or longer term storage. Once boiling down the sugarcane juice and even further from the syrup to the soft ball to firm ball, as you can see, with one sugar cane, we reduced it down to about that much. Furthermore, if you had more sugar cane and a mold, you can get something similar to this. And with this kind of consistency, you can use it for all your sugar needs, all your sweetening needs. If you like this video, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And we'll be showing you more and more of how to live a more self-reliant life, bit by bit. Hare Krishna.